Hi guys and welcome to my let's play and before I want to start I want to say my name is Gio to those who aren't familiar and on my first in my first episode uh, my slime farm was in the making and now it's complete as you can see my slime farm is very uh, it's working very well um, I don't even know how they get the slimes the slime sound uh, I don't want to know but yeah I need to go in there and uh, collect all the stuff so get the, the damage Get that to work, man. Yeah, and I've been recording a lot and a lot and a lot of cube episodes. I actually have like eight episodes of me just see, raging and like screaming on my computer. Stop it! Because uh, cube is starting to get very difficult now. And it's starting to take me longer to finish the challenges. And yeah. Damn, there's a lot of slimes here. Uh, not the best XP that slimes give you. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get them all to little. Oh, what am I doing? Using my axe. What the I'm really gang banged. Hello. Oh god, I need some melons. Yeah. So this is how my slime farm is looking. Uh, I actually get usually get less, but uh, whoa, whoa, I'm about to get killed. Yeah, I usually get less, but uh, I uh, I guess I let this sit for a while and a lot of came. Since usually uh, I lit up my cave a lot, so this is like mainly just the only mob that can spawn because slimes can spawn in light. Yeah. Ooh, slime balls. Yeah, I need to watch get these slime balls because I've been making a lot of pistons lately. And today, I'm going to be making a mushroom farm. So whenever I need mushrooms, uh, I think it's just something good I can use down here. Come on, give me all your slime balls. Yeah, just in that one killing session, uh, I was going Rambo, and as you see, I got 32 slime balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like 32 pistons, which is amazing. So yeah, wow, am I playing on hard? Let me check. Nope, I'm playing on normal. Cool story, bro. Alright, so let's head on up here and start uh, building our slime farm. Ooh, and also, I finished uh, the downstairs area. Because in the last episode, I was building the stairs. And I built something really cool. I think you guys would like it. Uh, so I think my slime balls are in here. No, <laughs> they're down there. Oh, this is great, so... You guys can see what's down there. Oh, what is that? You see a peak of it? Oh, oh, I'm turning around. Just so I can show you guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Check this place out. Oh, what? There's supposed to be lava up here. What happened? Oh, dang, I'm going to go get more lava. Hmm. Yeah, let me go get more lava, guys. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. And this is how it's supposed to look with the lava. Uh, I think I might just replace all this outer ring with glass. And I don't know. But uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is my pumpkin and melon farm down here. Uh, inspired by Ethos from Ethos Lab. Uh, he had this really cool design. I liked it. And basically all you gotta do is step on this. And since I have a E Snorlax or whatever that thing is called down there, uh, it will lock the pistons, which is really cool. And then get my hoe. And my hoe comes out and just like starts. Um, and I just get it started like tilting the land. And just all I gotta do is put it back, and where is it? Oh, it's in my hand. Derp. And yeah, and when I step on this again, everything goes down, and it doesn't shoot the uh, the hole, cause I don't know why, but I'm glad it doesn't. So yeah, that's how I was looking. And as you see, a pumpkin, a uh, melon already grew, and here's just my supply. I'm keeping the melons in my inventory just because uh, I can have something to eat and I won't die. And here's just a chest. I found four diamonds digging down here. I'm not even that low. So that was kind of weird. Here's all my uh, slime balls. I have 60 slime balls. That is amazing. Uh, all that is legit, I promise you. As you just saw, uh, that's usually not uh, those amount of slimes. I usually don't get that much. But yeah, I have been digging down here a lot. And uh, slimes have been just spawning and whatnot. Down here's just a stair. I'm going to make it go down a few more levels. Um... This is my enchanting room. So when I want to low enchantments, I don't have anything to enchant right now. But when, if I want low enchantments, I don't lift anything up. And as you should guessed, left and right, just so I can make it more clear to those um, people who can't really decide what's left and right. So yeah. So if I only want only if I only want the right side, the right side stays, and the bottom half stays. But if I want the left side, you get the point. You should at least, yeah, the top half goes to the left, just so it can be equal. 
Yeah, and creepy uh, cave noises is happening right now. This uh, this enchanted sapling, so it can grow some <laughs> golden apples on it. That would be really cool. That should happen actually. A golden sapling, but um, you have to level it to like a hundred. That would be really cool. Yeah, and here's the on and off switch, the torch. You know. Yeah, I don't want to break it now. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I've mainly been doing in my um over here. Yeah. I think it's turning out really nice and I'm, I'm gonna start having some random chests so I can just throw my junk in there as you see what I'm doing now because uh, I usually just have a lot of stuff in my inventory and yeah uh, I also want to start a tree farm I think I already said that in, like a few episodes ago but yeah I don't have any stone oh, yeah I got an apple from a tree which is cool uh, keeping it in there actually took it and, yeah also, I want to build a wheat farm and a yeah wheat farm. A what did I just say? A tree f and a tree farm. But today I'm going to be making a uh, a uh, mushroom farm. Dang it! I don't like breaking um, different objects with my pickaxe besides uh, stone and like cobble and like uh, diamonds and stuff like that. Because then there's no real point of my other tools. Because this thing can mine through anything really fast. I'm actually glad I found some coal here so I can use it uh, upstairs within my cooking area. I need more dirt. I should have more dirt in here. No, that chest is just empty. It's hungry. Oh, man, where's my dirt? Uh, yeah, and this uh, mushroom farm will involve uh, some pistons. Sticky pistons. Uh, it's going to be a real project. Oh, 40. Just 41. Come on. Uh, yeah, I need, no, I don't need the redstone from there. Redstone, no. Actually, hold on, guys, be right back. Let me go get all these materials that I need to start making my mushroom farm. Okay, guys, I know I'm lagging a lot, and, uh, I told you guys I would be right back with all the supplies. I'm actually going to my house right now, get some redstone. But, uh, yeah, for some reason, it's been snowing next to my spawn area, and I, I personally hate the snow in Minecraft. I really do, I don't know why. I, 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 just, it's because of my server, it snows a lot. I added a snow uh, blocking plugin, and it still snows. So yeah, it's just a little heads up, it's snowing and raining. It's like raining on my half, but snowing in the wilderness, which is pretty weird, because cause nature, you scary. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that, and yeah, be right back. Alright guys, I am back, and as you can see, uh, I have cleared up a lot of land here, and added a gotta go fast and live longer dispensers, as I said I would do, um, they're not filled with anything yet, but they do dispense, yay, always have a diamond axe right here, I'm saving until this one breaks, and I want to enchant another sword, and looks like my shovel's about to break too, I'm running low on this supplies, but, ooh, uh, actually I just need to put that right there. Because that's the pattern. Three blocks in between the glowstone. Um, same rule applies for over here. So I actually need to put one right here. Right? Yeah. And as soon as you enter, you might hear a whole bunch of pressure plates. And they don't do anything right now. And this is going to be my mushroom farm. I, have a, I always have a stack of regular stone. Just so I can replace the ceiling with it. Just so um, it looks nice. And actually, I just might replace the stone with stone bricks. Hmm. Whatever, it's just for now. But my plan is, um, you step on any of these pressure plates, and then the water uh, rushes down from over here, and you get all the um, mushrooms. Now, as of right now, I don't think I have any mushrooms on me. But let's check. Okay. Give me some pistons, and let me go upstairs. I need something else. Uh, I need a water bucket, yeah. I have buckets, all right. And I have my unlimited water supply up there. So it should work. Uh, let me just get two the water, and I, uh, let me just give it the spider eye. You know what, I don't need it. I don't know why I'm getting it. <laughs> but, hmm. No, I don't have any uh mushrooms on me, but as, let's just work on this uh mechanism first. Actually, I know I'm getting sidetracked a lot, but let's go check on our slime friends 
And if they're not down there, then I will just pause the video until we get in this, get back up here. Blah, blah, blah. Slimes, yeah. Alright, so yeah, so usually it's just like this, but I guess I waited out a lot of time. So I didn't come down here, that's why I had so many in there. God, I'm gonna F up the slime, yeah. Yeah, so my slime farm is doing pretty good, as you can see here. I like how Etho has his uh, slime divider. If you haven't heard of it, uh, you should go check it out. It's really neat and cool. Like, um, he used water flow, so that way um, he has, like, little containers, like, view containers. So that way, uh, in, the view, in the way the water works is, like, it can divide them. So it knows which one's small, which one's medium, and which one's large. Which is, I just think that's genius. And he has a lot of creativity. Uh, I lack. I guess you can say I have some creativity. Um, the the slime farm. I always wanted one, uh, but uh, mainly it was just because so I can make pistons legitly, and I uh, so far I have, which is amazing. And I should have a full stack of slimes now, slime uh, balls. That's like a full stack of sticky pistons now. I think I should. I think I should move this one. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, I need to remove this this right here but I'll do that later all right now what I'm worried about is that water will take down the no all right cool so I thought the water would take uh would like remove the pressure plates but I was wrong oh man I dig down too all right let me get the dirt so that's just in case I actually have to remove these blocks which is wasn't smart of me to put everything there first all right uh, starting from over here now basically what I'm going to do is run redstone wait if that's yeah red run redstone um under each of those pressure plates now it's gonna look a little bit all tangled up and let's see if this works all right so I don't want to have like a the, the full switch I just want like some pressure plates. So that way, as soon as I enter and as soon as I exit, the water flow will stop. It looks like it's working so far. Yeah, it looks like it's working. And I guess I'll just run this redstone along uh, right here. I'll just uh, make this... Oh, yeah, I'll just make the back stone brick like always. And wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I know what to do. All right, we're going to put the sticky piston. We only need one right here. And we'll put the... No, not yet. Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna, I don't know how to explain this as well. But um, it's not going to be the best uh, mushroom farm, but it's going to be uh, pretty cool because I like using redstone. All right, so that's right there. But we need to run the wire underneath that because I need to make a... Uh, redstone torch get two in here oh man why did I do that uh screw this gravel all right so it'll be pushed up but then the wire under it will unpower it because that's how redstone works and I, now I just need to find dang it I don't like doing that uh need to find the wire that was over here and I'll just keep using repeaters till it re uh, goes over there. I think I'm going in the right direction. Yes, I am. All right. So this is how it's basically basically going to work. Um, it's going to be right there, but instead of that, let me put a repeater right here. And basically, if you don't know what repeaters do, they basically uh, re uh, repower the redstone so that way it doesn't run out because redstone can only run along, I believe it's... 10 12 blocks so yeah let's test that out now should work jump jump yep and when i get off all right now and this is not going to be permanent but the water where, wait, wait, yeah where's the water going to be oh behind that block derp all right let's let's remove this all right now let's move all of these sides Replace this with that. Also replace this up top for reasons, I guess. Um, yeah, replace the bottom too with that. All right. Get the water bucket. 
No, not the redstone. Give me the redstone. Ah, uh, dang it. It's kind of a fail video so far. <laughs> or a fail explanation. Alright. So, let me cover all this up because I know the redstone's going to get destroyed if I um leave this open. Alright, let me just cover this up with dirt. You never want to put a dirt block when it's connecting to a block because it just cuts it off. But you can use a half slab or a sign or ladders to do that now, which is really cool. I'm just making this uh, one block high, so that way no mobs can spawn over here. If they spawn over here. I don't want them to spawn in my redstone contraptions. That was a weird sound. Alright, jump, jump. And... Yeah, let's just replace all this floor with some stone brick. Another one. I should have some more. Yep. So yeah, that's basically it. It's not that hard. Um, And what I'm really going to do is just place some mesh mushrooms all over right here. And then we're just... Yeah, as you see, it's going to come right here. And then... Hmm... You know what I should do? I should remove this, that pressure plate, so that way, as soon as I answer, and if I want to, you know what? I have a good, I have a better idea than that. Remove that pressure plate. Step right there, so that way, I can when I wanted to stop, I just stand right there. There we go. But I wish I should replace this block with something, so that way I'm never looking on the floor. Hmm. Dang it, how am I going to get back up? You know what, guys? I'll be right back so I can, like, get a piece of wool to, for me to always stand on. So, yeah. So, be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. And, uh, while I was gone, I got, I found some mushrooms. I went all the way back to my house. I only took two because that's all I really needed. And, um, I'll show you right now as soon as I, uh, re put the dirt on the floor. All right. So I removed these pressure plates, be pressure plates because I thought they would get in the way because I thought I would have to replant them. But then I thought of an easier way, but I'm still not going to put them back just for uh, just for reasons. This pressure plate doesn't work. I did that on purpose so that way um, I actually have a way to walk up there without uh, triggering the water. But this this side still works. And so did this side, which is great. So yeah, whenever I want them, so whenever I want to just like come up here by myself without the water, it's good, and yeah, Redstone is still traveling to this side, so yeah. Anyways, um, like I was trying to say, uh, I, as you might see right now, you don't see the mushrooms, but, oh wow, what am I doing? But if you remove this block, you'll see the brown mushroom. If you remove this block, you would see the red mushroom with a piece of dirt in there. And I think that the mushroom will grow, these mushrooms will grow on this side, and they should do that. If not, then we'll figure out another way to, uh, grow them but yeah this is for now hopefully they'll grow and i'll probably keep you up to date with the episodes to see how it's working and yeah you just see i kind of removed all the dirt and gravel on this side making it all ugly and yeah so it looks like we accomplished our mission it looks like this episode is about almost 20 minutes long there's an ambulance in the background like last episode i have no idea what the hell is this oh i forgot to tell you guys I actually bumped into an x experiment yeah, and that that experiment was kind of a fail, so I need to block that off for good. If you, if you listen closely and not listen to the ambulance, then you should this uh, you should hear some water. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I have no idea what that is, and uh, as always, peace out.